So in case you missed my last video, I had an interview with my husband. So if you want to see his awesome results, you can check out that other video in my playlist where I'm wearing the same outfit. I won't be able to edit these videos because my computer is being fixed. It is unfortunately broken. So this is week three and this is my update on how I'm doing. Um, and I had to do without chromium for a couple days. If you remember my week two vlog, I was talking about how I left chromium in another state when I went to visit my family. So I actually told my relatives, hey, I'll take it, see if you like it, see if it helps you. I'll just buy a new bottle up here because it's affordable. So I went two days without it and I did one day on just the Super HD Fire and I was okay. I stayed at 1500 calories, whatever. And then I did a shift at work. I'm a nurse. I work 12 hour shifts, which turn into more than 12 hour shifts if you know what that life is like. And I went over my calorie count by 180 calories and I didn't feel stable in between meals. I felt weak. I felt um, hangry like I have been, you know, for the majority of my life. So at this point, I've pretty much decided I don't want to live without chromium anymore. So maybe I'm going to have to eat like a ton of broccoli <laughs> for the rest of my life. But, um, or maybe I'll just take chromium supplements because that's way easier. But um, chromium's got to happen for me because I don't want to be that person that I am without it. Um, and it's just a nutrient that you need to have in your diet and I guess we don't eat enough of it. Or what I was learning from some of the videos I was watching this week was carbohydrates make you pee out chromium. And what do we love to eat the most? I love to eat carbohydrates. I eat it in ice cream. I eat it in potatoes. I eat it in bread. I'll eat carbohydrates anywhere I can get them. That is when I'm not on a 1500 calorie day diet. <laughs> so, um, chromium is really important, especially if you're going to eat more carbohydrates. It's not a carb blocker, but it helps your body assimil assimilate the sugar and use it appropriately and um, not have the fluctuations that it would. So I will try to have a more researched video for you on that when I can get my editing software back. But in the meantime, that's definitely a uh, must have chromium for the rest of my life. And I did also decide to switch to the Super HD Fire that does have caffeine in it. So after reading about it a little bit more, I found out that the morning pill has 200 micrograms, or I'm sorry, I'm just saying micrograms for chromium, 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is equivalent to two cups of coffee, but it is extended release, which means it doesn't all come out at once. If you drink a cup of coffee and just like go, Woof, there it is, you get the 100 microgram, or excuse me, again, 100 milligrams right off the bat. And if you're used to that, then it's not going to have a huge effect on you. And I'm used to 100 at a time. Well, um, this week I took um, the non-stimulant version all week. And I still needed a second cup of coffee in the afternoon. And at work one day, I wasn't able to do it. Because my patients had me running and running and running. And... I mean, it was call it after call it, transfer out a patient, get a new admission, which is the story of my life. It's the job. I didn't have time to hold a cup of coffee long enough for it to get inside of me, but I did have time to take my afternoon pill. And that is the point at which I decided I need that extended release caffeine that is in the HD fire that has caffeine in it. So I'm going to try it. And this is Sunday. I took it before church. I did not get jittery. I did feel more hungry at lunchtime, but it had been five hours since breakfast. So, I mean, you're supposed to be hungry, right? So I'm gonna try to um, make sure I keep a snack on hand because I think I will get a little hungrier with the caffeine. But hey, maybe I'll be dropping pounds sooner. And that brings me to the big announcement of the week. I lost two and a half pounds this week, which is the culmination of three weeks of eating 1500 calories a day give or take 50 <laughs> and um 
So that puts me in a total weight loss of 10 and a half pounds. And it keeps me on track for my ultimate goal of being my pre-pregnancy before baby number one weight by New Year's Day, which is 140 pounds. So I can do that if I lose two and a half pounds every week um, or the equivalent. So that's my goal and I'm on track. I'm very encouraged and I'll just continue tweaking the supplementation as needed. Um, I can maintain the 1500 calories. It's working. I'm able to eat what I want just as long as I portion it out and it's having my husband on board really does help. So having accountability really makes a big difference when you're trying to make major life changes. And so if you have a buddy, um, they can help keep you accountable and give you hints, hey, I tried this for lunch, it was only this many calories, or whatever your goal is, if you're focusing on macronutrients, then they can be like, hey, I had this food and it was really good and it was only this many calories, or like my husband decided, hey, let's eat at Panda Express because you can get a ton of food for like 400 calories and $6. So that was a nice advantage because we usually love to go to Chick-fil-A. Well, a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is like 400 calories and then you want the fries and you can't get the fries because they're 300 calories like by themselves. So it's just sad going to Chick-fil-A, but it is nice that I can go there and I can get a chicken sandwich and not feel like I'm totally missing out. Like I don't, I'm not cutting out everything I love in life, you know what I mean? So. I'm really encouraged and it is nice to know that I can live with less food than I had previously thought. <laughs> I just had gotten to the point where I was used to eating like a whole salad and then finishing off my kid's kid meal, which yes, I know that's horrible, but I felt like I needed it or I would die. And now I know that I just need my portion and I will not only survive, but I will thrive on a healthy amount so I hope this was encouraging to you please like and subscribe leave information in the comments below if you have advice and tips for me or if you have questions or something else that you would like me to cover in the video about our experience um, or about the supplements that I'm using um, just leave that in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching bye